Hey folks, I'm at the Holy Cross Cemetery in Mellow Park. It was founded in 1875. When I find more information about the cemetery, I'll put more of the info at the beginning of each video. So always when I come here, it's kind of a unique cemetery, a lot of different types of um, stone angels. We'll see what kind of bench we're kind of second I'm going to get my sleep into. Okay, enjoy the film. Um, always like, subscribe, and tell me what you think. All right, or, or a place I should check out in California. Thank you. So here's the entrance, your family. Parking flag right there. Her as I park the wrong direction. Here's a facing direction to see what the Kind of sinking ground right there. So as I was walking over there, man, it's like a death trap, man. They don't upkeep the grounds that well. I always fell a couple times, like a point, like a quicksand. So it's like, let's take that intersection. Got any crows are a little mad at me right now for some reason. Yeah, plot borrow. Can we see from this plot barrel all that was moral from the 174 graves of St. Dennis Cemetery, 1864 on Stan, uh, Sand Hill Road, found in, on, remains were found only in 27 graves. I guess there was a graveyard on Sand Hill Road and they moved some over here. It's like the area where they buried the remains of that graveside. Yeah. That grave only lasts from, from 1853 to 1890 on San Hill Road, huh? Remains were found only 27 graves. Get 174 buried there. Neither records or dead graves were, so there's no records or really was buried there. Yeah, that's kind of a shame. So that's somebody Bunch of people buried on more to guess. <laughs> Carefully revelation under the suspicion of Stanford University Church of the date of Okay. That's nice. Let's check over here going on. So walk over here. So here go the um, keep all the ashes. Yeah, I'm not feeling that great, but right now my voice is all messed up, coughing like more. I guess something like been used this is brand new. Nobody's really marked in there. Some people are marked, but this section looks like nobody's in those crypts. So I'll try to find more information about the cemetery. I know it's found in 1875. Once it was moved, remains were sent over here. So 
son ellos. The gold. Decorate, I think the new section right there. to 1914. I guess that families will come visit them. Decoration, Christmas. Make their thing look pretty. Well, this kind of cool. Got a military over there. He, Captain, U.S. Navy, World War II. Somebody's came forward. Joseph, 18. Moore's in or something. Joseph, something. Well, this kind of nice little grave right there. So, um, please put a like, comment, tell me what you think about, you know, how you want to be buried. Wait, the email, me show you this graveyard. Yeah, he was overdue in Korea. Kia. I guess he's right fishing. Peace. Your Roy. Margaret Gilroy. It's kind of beautiful. So we're going to check out our sections pretty soon. Little gory right there. Nice little army. Or two. This guy need a cut. Like, oh yeah, it's gonna be, you know, Irish. One person is there, plus the other marking for something else. There's a wall up over two. But it must be built up right here. Or two, I guess. Air Force. Yeah, I've been trying to go here for a while when I'm doing a DoorDash and Postmates. I always come over here to film this. Oh, Mel Park. Who knows what kind of pioneers or, or people? Stone Angels. This guy 
Uh, interesting. You know, they got this right here. SR. They don't say date or anything. It's kind of interesting crypt coming right there. It don't say on days. Get the numbers. I don't know if it keeps it or when last time I ever showed up. I think there's a creep, I don't see who's buried there or not. Make one person. Born 1814, died. Oh, 1844 to 1813. Native. Some city in California, Chile, Chile. They're from Chile, young ladies from Chile. Came to, over here and died. Kind of interesting pictures. We don't have records of people buried here. Try to find some pioneers or the intro. Got a whole family right there. They're like a Selkit, a bunch of Ireland. Murray. Murray's really famous name in this area. Murray's Ranch, uh, the Santa Fountain, like, um, the road's named after Murray. Or that bar, you know. Murray's Law. You know, it's another this section. Some wooden one right there. It looks like been whacked all the times. This is a usual. I like this one right here. That's kind of cool. I've never seen something like that before. I like how they cut a the little piece right there for the tree to grow. Check this little guy out. Come here. Check this guy out. Come over here. Rest in peace, beloved artist, traveler, believer. In God's care. Some more fun angels right here. Over here. Oh, that's kind of sad. Like two people, like two babies right there. This is like the baby section. Oh, no, 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 Mary Trey Bay in their army. US Army didn't say didn't say what area these are. Eighteen eighty five to eighty zero. Mother. Doesn't really say that much. Uh, I know there are the Smiths. I think they were famed ply areas. Over the years, they lost their tombstones. Kelly. Uh, don't 
go. I'll put it right there. New, that's like newest run right That looks too new to be buried around 1928. It looks really like babies or something, but that's too. But the family are by, and you got a next door. Van lights. Kind of sad makes you see these things, man. 1829. Died in 1912. And what? No parking sign right here? Kind of weird, I had no parking sign. Of course, my feet looks fun those days. Stanley, born in May 31, 16, 1863, died in 1919. He's been here quite a while. Got some neighbors. Love dad. 1869 to 1939. Yeah, these are some old, this is like the one of those graveyards out there. Yeah. I'm trying to find more of these things. Who knows? Mount Me's have Greg downtown, they moved it. Yeah, Murray. Murray's a really popular name around here. Back in the day. This is a lone lot of land. Right at St. Murray's. Some a decent job of keeping. My family. Okay, I'm unique right here. It's like a family. It's like it used to be somebody's family plot. It could be who knows who's buried there, but it's been long gone. Over the years, you have to be careful in here. It's not that stable. This guy's all by himself now. Who knows? I'm walking someone else's grave. I can read that. Most of the time, people have a little flashlight that shows, you know, to get a better view of the names. But unfortunately, I forgot to read my flashlight. Yeah, these names are all worn out. Mary. Andrew, something better, Mary. Kind of like unique. So a lot of people can't afford until they get a win win. We still got respect the dead. Name. Kind of like culture. Also, cool thing about graveyards, you can find uh, stories of missing people. <laughs> guys are Irish. Uh, Irish, um, I see a lot of Irish um, tombstones. Like something around there, a big family thing. I like the new, the new sections over there. I'm 
Man. Eight to eight three. Eighty one years old, man. Died. I was like putting more things in my um on my tombstone. Let him know I died, you know what I mean? God, kind of, you know, simple and cheap, yes. Maybe a family plot right here. Killy. Yeah, Killies. Oh, the Killies. He's a, he's a person going to be Killy when we're doing a round table. I'm going to fill to make sure that wood or rabbits or yeah. Let's, I'm going to check that section right there. I'm going on. Got a lot of plots, family plots. So far, I'm full down. Over there, it's full as fucking down. Guess a whole other cover of these down branches and leaves. Like, who knows how, these, how long these, these guys been here? I don't know, dates or anything.